My favourite joke pulled from a Christmas cracker last Christmas Sunday dinner was about a town in the Wild West where Cowboy Zeke, who wasn't very good at reading and writing, saw the sheriff come and put up a sign, wanted, dead or alive, brown paper bob, $10,000 reward. And underneath it, they had a description so, of uh, brown paper bob. So Cowboy Zeke, not being very good at reading and writing, asked the sheriff to read it out. And he said, well, he has brown paper boots, he has brown paper Stetsons, he has brown paper plus fours, brown paper belt, uh, brown paper holster, brown paper pistol, brown paper, um, brown paper top, uh, waistcoat, brown paper jacket, brown paper Stetson, brown paper reins, and brown paper bit. Well, um, ask uh, Cowboy Pete, what, what's he wanted for? Well, said the sheriff, it's for rustling. Yeah. Think about it. Now, oh, yes, it's funny. So, um, that's a tradition, isn't it? Getting things from Christmas crackers. And uh, maybe you could get a better joke than that. Uh, but those traditional things which we all enjoy, Christmas trees, Christmas dinners, all those wonderful, lovely Christmas traditions. For me, it's, uh, it's some of the wonderful Christmas music. They're all about doing things the same every year, aren't they? But actually, what Christmas itself is about is God doing something completely new. So if you remember the story of the shepherds, God says to the shepherds, come to Bethlehem and see this wonderful thing. This, what I am doing, I am doing something new. Come and be part of it. And that's exactly what God is saying to us at Christmas time. Because by coming into his own creation, the incarnation, God himself is saying things can change. Things can be better. And in the New Testament, uh, so Paul says, Behold, I'm making all things new. I'm making a new person. And yes, Paul does say, well, sometimes I do the things I don't want to do or I don't do the things I could do. And if we think, well, sometimes we very quite quick to see our own faults and think the things we do wrong and mistakes. But it's a bit hard, isn't it, to see how we can move on from that, how we can go into the future, how things can change, how things can be made new. Well, the good news of Christmas is that we don't have to do it on our own. We might not feel that we have the strength to, to do something new, to move on from all those things that we don't want to do. That, but if we put our trust in God, we can have God's strength to help us to move on, to be the things, to do the things we want to do, to be the people we want to be, and to be the people God has created us to become. I'm doing something new. That is the message of the incarnation, and it's an invitation for us from God to join in with that. I wish you a happy, blessed, and peaceful Christmas and a prosperous and wonderful new year. God bless you.